Hey friends, so glad you could join me today. Our tip of this week happens to be a fun bubble wand that you can make with your kids. And then you could go outside and enjoy actually blowing the bubbles. So it's pretty easy to make. It is this flower. I know, isn't that fun? So actually, this is super easy to make because it's a swim noodle. So you can make a gob of them if you want. And we can cut this with just a serrated knife, super easy, just like slicing it off. And so you can cut several of those ahead of time. And then you wanna take your skewer, I'll show you here, and you're gonna poke a hole right here and just kind of back and forth, drill it in there and it'll poke in there really easily. Now, if you wanna secure it with a little bit of glue, just put a little glue in that and then you can put your stick in there and it will be, it'll be in place. So that's easy enough. Now we wanted to add a little leaf on here too. And so you can see we've got one on this one already. And so I was cutting that leaf uh, right here. So you can just stab that leaf. We used some foam, uh, this little sheets of craft foam to do that. So that was easy to do. If you don't want to have a leaf on it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We can even take like a green crayon and go over the stem and make the stem green as well. It might get worn off with all the hands touching it and everything, but at least you get to see what that looks like. So that's pretty cool. Now, I have all of these instructions that are already ready right here and you can print those off uh, right here off of the website. Very easy and all of that's available for you. Now, here's the trick. We want to mix our bubble solution. So we've got a cup of water and we're gonna use two tablespoons of dish detergent or soap. So let's get that going. Oh, nice. So put that in. So I'm also gonna add some glycerin. And this is really what helps make hold the bubbles so that you can get good bubbles. And it takes a tablespoon of that as well. So let's put that in. And unbelievable, if you don't remember this, so it's two tablespoons, one tablespoon, and then finally, it takes a little sugar. Mm, doesn't that make everything better? And it does take a teaspoon of sugar as well. So I've got a little sugar here. Here's a little sugar for you, sugar. All right. And then you wanna mix it up really good. Now, I would like to say you could just put it in a jar and shake it up and get it all mixed, but don't. Um, sounds like a testimony, doesn't it? Because it'll just be all suds. <laughs> so mix it up really good. And I have some already here that are that's mixed for you. And so let's see if we can pour some of this up and check out our bubbles. See how we did. All right, dip it in there. Just like that. And so you can go outside and have a great time with this wonderful summer, spring kind of bubble wand. And I think your kids are gonna really enjoy it. Check out all the ideas I have at Mr. Mark's Classroom and sign up for a weekly reminder that we've got a tip of the day just waiting for you.